Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be working on the Forester. Stay tuned. Goes back to it. So, I've got that 180 there. I'm gonna work out a way to do that. Get it from here to here. Right, we have put it out. I'm gonna chop it just here, so we've got a bead. All right, I've changed it again, guys. Um, this bit. I've um, got a different piece in there, um, just so we can get it through a bit further. Um, so I've chopped this off. It will go on here, but we've still got to trim up more. Um, yes, there's a lot of silicon, but this is just the R&D, and then we'll get some um, better piping. This is just cheap eBay aluminium, so it's really hard to weld, because it's very, it's got a lot of contaminants in it, so, yeah. Lots of silicon at the moment. Actually, I didn't need to trim that. Hopefully, it'll clear the bonnet. But yeah, just a two inch coupler there. And now it clears the ABS as well. I'm happy with that. Alright, just went and got a couple of the uh, hose clamps that I got for Christmas or Boxing Day sales. Um, this goes to two and two and a half. So I'm just going to use it for um, all this to begin with. And then I'll get it all upgraded later on, guys. So. Don't hose me. And I'll do something about this water line. Tell me guys, do turbos need water to cool? They just lubricate the journal bearings um, with the oil. Because if not, I won't hook up the GT35 just yet with water. Just for like some startups and whatnot. And then I'll daisy chain it off the TDA5. Comment down below if you know. It's just an eBay GT3582R. I've been running water and oil on it. Right. I just want to do some startups. I think we did it, boys. That's on. It's not coming off. Just threw it up and over. All the couplers are on. But. Obviously, um, looks like I've got oil on the screen. So that's better. Yeah, all the hose clamps aren't on. Um, a couple of things I need to address. Block breather. It's all nice and tight down there. I need to do a good system for that. And oil feed is down there too. So I need to get down into there. Uh, wastegate. Wastegate is about to go on. I'm going to do it right now, guys. Alright guys, got the wastegate just sitting on there. So this section pulls the spring up so the plunger comes up so it can be bolted on there. Um, not an issue. I'm going to change this nipple over to the other side, over here. You guys know why. It's too freaking hot. So we'll go from there. I've actually got it over here. But I could probably change it to there. Or even, yeah, probably that one. These all go through into the compressor housing. Not all of them. Just to make that path a bit smaller. So this wastegate, ooh, it's got a, I think it's got a five psi spring in it. So you're straight to it. Let's see. 
that clamp um, clamp fits on. If not, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, we have an issue, guys. GT35 has to come off, all loosened, so that um, clamp, that Vivian clamp or whatever clamp they call it, um, can go on. Or I could just straddle it for a while and see how we go. But yeah, nice and close, nice and tight setup, guys. My right, boys just been working on the plumbing. Swapped over the nipple here. That is actually not on. You can see. I couldn't get it on. Turbo needs to come off to get it on. Turbo needs to come off anyway so I can get down to the block breather and oil feed. So I'm not too concerned about that. Then came with the intake. So I've got the sensor now, pre turbo air filter. Very dirty air filter that needs to be changed. Mm, it might go up against the, the bonnet, but yeah, it's before now, so all good. This water line will probably go across and to the top one. And daisy chain from the top one down to the bottom one. Um, oil feed will come up and around to here. Got to work out oil drain still. Haven't even thought about that yet. But yeah, got all the intercooler plumbing, except for on this side done. So I might have a look at that right now. Alright guys, figured out the intake. I um, only had one left, so I chopped it in half, that's why they're really short. But I'll be getting two new ones. Um, thanks neighbour. Hi right, guys, that is me done for today. I'm pretty happy with progress today. Tomorrow, I want to start it. So stay tuned for the next episode. It's going to be loud. There's no exhaust. Just uh, half a dump. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, guys, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. See you next episode. Bye.